So I cleaned this up a little bit more and uh, worked on that mouth, those teeth to make them a little more gnarly looking. And just deepened some cuts around the whole carving. Get, it, get rid of any roughness. So, I was going to paint it color, some color, but I thought I would just put some of this 209 natural on it first. And just uh, let it sit for a day and see how it looks. This is uh, Minwax 209 natural. Doesn't have a, any real color. Just brings out the natural uh, color of the wood. It works with that. So, anyway, here we go. Just use this one. The top will soak it in, the top end grain, soak it in pretty good. But some woods like mahogany and this butternut and uh, some cherries and, and they just, uh, I have a hard time painting them. <laughs> they look so pretty. It's a shame to like paint, put paint on. Although I might still put some paint on this and uh, then I might just go ahead and uh, Put a brush and lacquer on it, semi-gloss, I mean, uh, satin lacquer, which uh, I usually use on all of my carvings as a final finish. It's a, satin brushing lacquer. So, just stick around and we'll see what this what happens here with this can really see his smile there. Just keep brushing this in until it uh, doesn't want to take it a lot more. And you can see those natural grains on this butternut.
Oh yeah, this is a handy thing to have for painting. Uh, my friend Bob Hershey gave this to me as a gift and uh, I need to make another three or four of them <laughs> have around. But it does gives you something to hold your hold on to while you're painting without smearing it all over. See, see what I mean? Without getting your hands all full of uh, whatever you're painting. <laughs> I don't know, what do you think? Uh, I'd like to know what you think. I could give the hair a nice, I'd like a color, that way it brings out the face more because there's color separation there. And you can see the ears. You'll be able to see the ears also. But, and the hat could use a slight color and a difference in the hat band. Or, we could leave it like that and just put a satin finish on top of it. We'll see. Okay, so I'm just going to mix up some of this burnt sienna, Josanya, very thinly, very thinly in here. Mostly water. I want it to be see through. So you can still see that butternut grain under there. But it gives that band a little different color than uh, than the rest of the hat, which I'm liable to paint. Uh, I think I'm going to mix up some red. So, I'm going to mix up a real thin coat of red and uh, maybe a little white for the teeth also. Let me do that right now. All right. Did a little mix in there for a different, uh, a different look. Use this cadmium red, but then I added some of this uh, burnt sienna in here too. So uh, kind of got a mixed color here for his hair. Kind of reddish, but you can still see those uh, the wood underneath.
gonna leave his face the skin tone that it is but I'm gonna paint those eyes and uh, little color here for the eyebrow I'm going to paint that hat a color I'm not sure what yet maybe blue or green gotta give these teeth a little bit of uh, color Just slightly so uh, you can still see through it. Just kind of like a, I don't want them to look. Like you're painting a house here. <clears throat> Need a little bit on these eyes also. <clears throat> Wind's blowing a gale outside. Okay. It's got a little runny here, so let's use some clear. Clean a clean uh, brush. Kind of spread that out a little bit. We have to let this dry a little bit to uh, put another coat on. But you can see the difference right there. But you can still see that grain through the through his teeth. I'm going to paint some color on that hat also. Okay, I'm going to go with this green. Send the way down. Give him a green hat.
little bit more of a color change there. I like to be, uh, if I left it plain, wouldn't be as interesting as far as I'm concerned. Like he's ready for St. Patty's Day. <laughs> all these colors are going to pop a little bit more, and uh, all your grains are going to be more visible uh, when I put the satin finish on the whole thing. And I think those teeth are going to be wide enough to stand out and the eyes stand out. I'm going to put some pupils on the eyes. Okay, I'm going to already painted a couple of these eyes because it's hard to do it on camera here but main, my main thing is I like to leave uh, I'll leave some space between the um, nose and the start of your pupil Just gonna paint it black and then uh, I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna put a little uh, white dot kind of a reflection dot that way they'll stick out uh, they'll stand out pretty good you'll see in a minute I'm gonna I'm gonna do that right now but I'm gonna dry this a little bit Don't leave some space in between the nose and the eye and leave some of that white. Um, it kind of makes the guy look uh, cross-eyed. So. Also, I want to put a little uh, reflection dot. You know, when, you, when the light shines in somebody's eyes, they, you see that little white dot on most all photos, you can see that. And I'm going to uh, just use a toothpick and some raw Blanco white. And my uh, theory is to either put them at 11 o'clock or 1 o'clock on, on the eye. And uh, whatever you do here, you do there too. So I'm going to put them at 1 o'clock. Yeah, I like that. It'll be a little bit more visible. There you go. And then uh, one o'clock over here. Just using the toothpick. And see how now you can see those eyes? Where when they're just black. Uh, uh, was the... Uh, 
little trick everybody use, uses. Some people uh, will just put clear epoxy on the eye. It's a little more work, but and and it reflects naturally when it gets hard and clear. It reflects the light naturally, so you always you have a natural light in there. More work, but it uh, looks a lot nicer. Looking at this, I think I'm gonna just put another wash uh, on his teeth. I want to use, I don't want to use a bright white, that, not the Blanco, I want to use a, like a this oyster, it's an off-white oyster shell color. I'm just going to use a, um, I'm just going to make it a wash anyway. Use the same thing on the eyes. This oyster is uh, not a bright white, but muted white. Yeah, that's going to be a little better, and, and I don't think I'm really going to do anything else to this. I think I'm just uh, leave that skin color as the butternut, and the rest of his face and his ears, and uh, I'm just going to spray it with uh, some matte sealer. As soon as it dries completely, you don't want to spray it until it's totally dry. And I'm going to help it along here with the uh, with uh, a trusty hair dryer. I'll dry this all the way and come back. There, I think um, that that last wash on the teeth uh, made it just about right for the way I like it. Let's move this out of the way here. guys too. So this is what I'm going to put on this one. Sometimes I use this. It's convenient because it's a spray and it actually it's a pretty good finish. I like the finish. Wouldn't use it if I didn't like the finish. But um Sometimes I use a brush on lacquer, which is uh, made by depth, and that's that's pretty good too. Matter of fact, that's better. It's just more work. So let's hit it a couple.
be able to see this a little better with this uh, foam background. Red hair, green hat, and the skin is just going to be, let's see if I can get this to focus here for you. It's a little crude. You could go, you could go further and refine it a little bit more, and just make it smooth. Whatever, whatever. It's your carbon. You do it. You do it your way. And put some more shot on it. Move this out of the way here, so. use my liquor store bag the only place you can get brown paper bags anymore is the, the liquor store no grocery store have them. okay that's the final coat gets less shiny it'll get less shiny and I'll uh, take a picture of it and put it on the end of the video but my painting videos haven't really been getting a lot of hits but I'm doing I'm doing them anyway since since we're some people might have carved this wanted to see how it is uh, if you painted or wanted you to see how it was uh, if you didn't paint it and just uh, put the clear on it. Personally, I like a little color. I like the hair and the teeth and the hat. And that's just me. You could just spray that right away with this matte clear after you get done carving it and you're happy with it. You could just spray it right up with uh, matte clear. Happy carving and painting.